Good day, beautiful people. Um, just want to share our experience, um, just about our journey, and just as a bit of a warning, really, if um, people are well anywhere in the world, um, we've just got to be mindful of scammers. Um, because the last thing you want to be is victim to scamming and I have been a victim to a scam you know with the bank it was HSBC and I had the true caller and the call this happened a couple of years ago so it did the um, call did come through as HSBC the caller ID and they said, you know, what they say about um, somebody's hacked into your account and before I knew it, it just sounded so legitimate um, and they're taking £500 basically out of my account and then it's like once I... I realised it as soon as I did it. Then when I phoned the bank, it was a different number. And so, I had to, so they basically blocked the, they blocked the account and... Um, Thankfully, we stored that 500. But um, I guess, you know, sometimes you've just got to be exposed to certain things. And it's a heavy lesson, <laughs> you say, costs to learn. So, unfortunately, I did get that money back. But, you know, back to our journey here to Jamaica. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just to say, you've just got to be mindful. Um, because somebody who's, you know, a close relative to Patrick and I really, you know, she absolutely 100% means well, you know, this person does mean well and said, you know, because she attends church and, you've, you know, you've got to be mindful that you don't get scammed with the, you know, real estate um, and obviously because we're from overseas um, it's a bit kind of riskier when you're not on the ground so um, uh, she put us on to somebody and then within a f few days, if that we had a call because basically we said we wanted somewhere rural we wanted it fruited fruited land you know in the country area and so we get this call and the person oh a coconut's just fallen off the tree anyway um so she, this person she she gets somebody and yes yeah, somebody so this person calls us and basically said there was just this lovely house that hasn't even gone on the market as yet. And um, she can arrange a viewing basically um, that day. And it's exactly what she did. Um, the house was, the, the, the owners of the house were apparently in America. Um, so there was somebody overseeing it. So that person contacted us and did a video call. Now, what we weren't told was that it was tenanted. Um, so I thought, well, that was a red flag, really. They should have really told us that it was a tenanted property. Um, but they went on to say, oh, you can either take on the tenants or, you know, if you want them out, then they can go out. And um, showed us around the... It was two properties basically, so I think four bedrooms in each, either three or four bedrooms. So it was like either six or eight bedrooms altogether. Two houses, very close together, but they said eventually if you wanted to knock it into one, you can. But it was two separate ones. Um, so, okay, so while there was show, you know, I was having the viewing, I was um, videoing it. And so playing the video back, you know, they were saying, it was on about the water tanks, that 
And then he said, considering he's the person who's just looking after it, like, I can give you one of the tanks, but I can't give you both of both of my tanks. Something like that. And it's like, hang on, it's not even his place. He said it's looking after it, but, you know. Okay, so that's another red flag. So, yeah, we just kind of... Um, uh, yeah, spoke to this, um, like the Rialta called us. And um, this woman was in her 80s, 83 to be precise. And when we got talking, she was saying how she's from, um, she was in the UK, you know, in Warsaw. And I was telling her, oh, I was, you know, I was working in Warsaw. She was working at the Manor Hospital. And, you know, kind of somebody that gained your trust. And she's like, you know, in her 80s. It was like, well... You know, and I basically sort of put it in her head. Oh, you must love your job. Move! <laughs> I said, oh, you must love your job to be doing it, like, you know, when you're 83. And she says, oh, yeah, she does. Um, so, anyway, I think the about two houses were coming up at about, that's about 90 some thousand. Um, which was, you know, you're getting a lot for your money, really. Uh, so... Anyway, like I said, the red flags were there. It's kind of wandering and, you know, she sort of said, oh, we can, it's 10 or 15% deposit you have to pay, which we couldn't have done it anyway because the house um, had barely gone on the mark. Yeah, it hadn't even gone on the market, I don't think, at that time. So, you know, we just didn't have that 10 to 15% anyway. Um and one of the things that, you know, on this journey and starting and looking at houses, and I basically said a prayer that, you know, that whichever house is ours, you know, cause that door to be opened. And if it ain't any house that we view, if it's not ours, just shut the door. Um, so, yeah, so I had every confidence that anything that weren't ours, we weren't going to go down that route. So, basically, um, my son called me. His, par his partner, actually, and just said, oh, they were going to be down. I was still in England. We were still in England at the time. And, obviously. So... Yeah, so she called us to the park and, we, yeah, we got there and um, talking about a few things, but, you know, I basically said, Mom, this sounds too good to be true. So I was just a bit concerned, really. Um, yeah, so for me, that was, you know, something else I had to take. You know, my son's not so happy with it. He weren't feeling comfortable with it. You know, is this a message? Is this a sign? You know, I don't want to kind of ignore it. So, um, that night anyway, went to bed and um, couldn't sleep. So it just came to my mind, you know, came to my spirit, whatever. But um, to look this woman up. So let's just um, call her Mrs. P. So I'll put the name in and put Rialta. Put the name in and up comes an article. And up to that point we only knew her as Mrs. P. Didn't know the first name. So, um, let's just say the first name Sally then. And um, what I saw was quite shocking that this Sally P uh, had actually scammed, and she's a realtor, had actually 
scanned um, and it was like 70,000 US on around a sale of a property. Oh. So I talk about um, close shaves, so I woke up, woke Patrick up and said, boy, this is what has been revealed. So kind of played along with them for a little while. Um, and, you know, after a bit, when she could see that we were dragging our feet, she got really angry about it and said, what are you doing about buying this property? And considering it hasn't even gone, on the market um, you know we said to her well put it on the market and if we're still interested then um, you know we'll go for it but the fact that she was getting angry about it completely gave her away and um, it never did go on the market so basically you know they were trying to scam us because in the they did send us some photographs and then when we actually saw the property on the video, you know, there was no indication before that there was, um, that was any, any building work being done. Then all of a sudden, there's like all this mall. So I just thought these people just want the money to go and finish off their property. So, yeah, that was um, a shave and a half. So, honestly, if things don't sit right or something doesn't feel right you'll always get the warnings don't ignore the warning signs you know and I think back to that 500 um, pound scam from HSBC there was a little you know the signs were there really but I weren't seeing it I weren't seeing that I weren't seeing it until afterwards I thought oh god I should have known so it's very important because you know you don't feel comfortable about something so it's your intuition you know your gut it's a it, it's a gift from God <laughs> your gut and if you you know you can ignore something or you know if we if, if I'd have ignored it and said no 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 this is exactly what we prayed for this is what we want what a disaster that would have been so I'm so thankful to the Creator that um, for showing me just for putting that on my mind um it just came so strong just look up this person and then what i saw so it's just to say you know just be be mindful just be be careful of um you know which realtor that you use and the other thing is you know never buy a property that they say is yet to go on the market uh, every property is going to have uh, mls number a few numbers behind that so it's mls and there's a few digits and if you take going through that um platform then just forget it don't even entertain it and yeah yeah so you've got to kind of um safeguard just safeguard yourself really so yeah